Hey Booktube, um, I want to have a little discussion with you right now, because while I was waiting the ridiculous amount of time it was taking for my computer to not be frozen and dead, um, I was watching Booktube on my phone, and I came across a video that probably, like in all honesty, this video, there was probably no harm meant in making this video, okay? But um, it really kind of got under my skin, and not because of what the video was about, but because of the things that were said. So, boy, that was a big, long, ridiculous rant. Um, this is from, um, Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. Um, it went up today. Um, and the video was a discussion with Biblio Obscura about giving minority authors negative reviews. And right off the bat... Some of you watching this are like, whoa, dude, slippery slope, white guy, like, watch it, don't, don't start saying bad stuff. I'm not going to say bad stuff, but I'm a reader. I read books, so I'm allowed to say something about this first off. Second, at the beginning of this video and at the end of this video, they come to the conclusion that the way to give negative reviews to a minority author is to not be a dick. That's it. Be constructive in your criticism and don't be a dick. Now, I'm going to fucking blow all your minds right now, okay? This goes for every kind of author there is. I don't care what color you are, what your orientation is, what planet you're from, what you worship. It totally doesn't matter. All you have to do in reviewing a book is not be a pompous piece of shit. And that's not like asking you to like go kill your mom or anything like that. Just don't be a dick. It's really easy. That's all you have to do. That's it. Now, if you want to watch this video. I will link it down below. Um, and there were some things brought up in this video, like where uh, they were talking about wanting to research things before they read a book. So they don't feel like left out or whatever. Um, and that's fine. If that's how you read books, um, that's fine. And if that's how you look at stuff, that's fine. But I want to kind of give you a different way of looking at this. Instead of looking at a book from India by an Indian author that you might not understand the customs and cultures. You could do something like, here's, here's a good example. When science fiction was starting, when the golden age of science fiction happened, there were a lot of stories, a lot of books that were told about things that specifically the authors knew that nobody would understand. And so their job in that book was to make sure you understood it so you could enjoy the book. There's nothing wrong with an author doing their freaking job and explaining stuff to you. If it's a book that was never meant to be outside of an Indian audience, 
then no, they don't have to do those things. But if it's a book that the publisher and everyone's going to be pushing really hard all over the world so they could get book prizes and stuff like that, then it is their job to explain things that will not be understood by the majority of the people reading the book. That has nothing to do with being racist. That has nothing to do with privilege. That has nothing to do with anything. It's just telling a story that's understandable. That's it. So you could look at tons of different sci-fi. Now, the reason why I'm using sci-fi as the big example here is because their whole job was explaining new worlds and new concepts and most of these stories had a social underpinning to them hoping that in reading this you could be enlightened into your everyday life do you understand what i'm saying here so when you say that, like, oh, yeah, you know, like, um, I'm going to read a book about um, pick any region, any race, any religion, slap it in there, and you're going to read that book. Now, if the book is constructed properly, you will be able to understand everything that's in that book. If it is not constructed properly, you will not be able to understand that book. When you say stuff like you feel like you need to research a topic before you read it to understand the people, does this mean that you read The Cimmerillion before you read Lord of the Rings so you could understand the history of everything? Or was Lord of the Rings a good enough book to explain a world you knew nothing about? Did you have to read a bunch of books, a bunch of criticism books on all the Dune books before you read Dune so you could understand the things that happen in the world of Dune? Um, did you need to buy a bunch of books on magic and witchcraft in order to read the Harry Potter books? I'm sure you've read the Harry Potter books. Everyone read the Harry Potter books, right? So, I don't, I, I, I don't understand this. I don't understand um, needing to do a bunch of research on something before you read a book to understand what's going on in the book. The book should be able to explain that to you. If it's something like a sequel or something like that, I got into an argument with um, Steve Donahue about this before, um, where he thinks, and I, I don't want to misquote Steve here or anything like this, but this was a conversation we had, where Steve was saying that he should be able to pick up any book out of a series, start reading it, and be able to understand everything that's going on. It's the author's job, it's the editor's job to make sure any book could be someone's entryway into something. And I was like, no, you have to read books in order. What's wrong with you people? And like, just getting all crazy. But Steve had a really good point. And his point was, as a book reviewer, he reviews books as they come out. He's not going to review the first book of a series every time a new book comes out from that series. Does that make sense? So it's like, he has to be able to follow and understand that book. And then another thing that was brought up in this, and I don't know if this was a joke or not, but um, someone said that they think white authors should be judged more harshly in reviews. Why? Like, when you read a book, you, you shouldn't be seeing the author when you read that book. Especially if it's, like, a new book to you and you just pick up a book and start reading it. Um, I mean, for years and years and years, 
people were reading books that they thought men wrote, but they were really written by women. So, like, um, I, I, I don't understand in this idea that when what you're looking at is words on a page, why the need to know what the author had for dinner two nights before they started writing the book you're reading matters at all. They're telling you a story. Now, if it's a memoir, I understand that. But at the same time, the memoir should be able to explain everything there is to know that you need to know in order to like or dislike that memoir. Um, and this just goes back to that whole thing with, like, if you start judging people differently. It's like that Vonnegut story about all the people who have to, like, tie weights and metal objects all over them to make them as feeble as the feeble people in the world so no one feels bad. Um, it's, it's silly. Um, but, like, when you start doing things like this, it's like, do you... Okay, let me ask you a question. The people who made this video, let me ask you personally. Would you want to win an award knowing that you just won first place in this award, but then the person giving you the awards, like, there was actually five people better than you, but um, they had seven arms. And um, we only give this book to people with two arms. Or we only give this award to writers with two arms. You know, like, you would just feel like, oh, I came in sixth place. Like, do you really want to be that person? Do you really want to win an award? Because the award committee was that much harsher on other people like for me if I want to be the best at something I want to be the best at something I don't want to have a handout now some of you might be getting really upset with the things that I'm saying right now and that is perfectly fine I'm not trying to upset anybody I'm just trying to make a point here um and if you would like to discuss this further leave comments down below and we could chat it up. Um, there were a couple other things in this video, um, that I thought for a group of people who were trying to not be elitist, they said some things that came off very elitist. Um, I will read a quote from this, um, and it was, some booktubers out there are stunningly average in intelligence. Um, that's great that you guys are so freaking smart. And um, I'm really bummed out that I am not as smart as you. But I enjoy reading. And that's all this is. So don't make a video on how to not be a white privileged elitist piece of crap by throwing in a comment that you're a white, elitist, privileged piece of crap. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you should not say stuff like this. Booktube, and you're talking about like being inclusive and all this stuff. When you say stuff like that, that's what makes you a white, elitist piece of crap. That is your white privilege talking. Not everyone got to go to whatever school you went to. Not everyone gets to read the books that you get to read. Don't say stuff like that. What's wrong with you? Seriously, don't do this. If you have a booktube channel, you should be just talking about books. You should be able to talk about whatever you're talking about. And you shouldn't feel like there's people on booktube who are pretending to be um, a little more inclusive, but saying stuff like this. And everyone had a good laugh, and if it was in jest, that's fine. I apologize. But 
you, you're doing the exact thing that you're saying you're not wanting to do. So, um, that's all I'm going to say about this. Um, at the end of the day, the way, and the, and this is coming from some stupid white guy, but the way you review a book is to not be a dick when you do it. That's it. Um, there's nothing else to say about it. Just don't be a dick. So, I'll talk to you later.